Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, sauce for the bare face to begin with, because today we're going to be doing a sweat proof, kind of long wearing skin makeup routine. So, as you guys know, if you've been living in the UK or you live in a generally hot country or whatever, the weather right now, me the weather, makeup, it's a hot mess. But I finally have found a routine that I feel like make my makeup lasts a long time. It is gonna be slightly more on the full coverage just because even though full coverage and hot weather, you might think like, oh. But for me, that is the way my makeup lasts as well as a good base and just kind of really setting it all in place. So we're gonna be really focusing just on the skin and a little tip for your brows today. I have like a little thing that makes, you know, your brow products waterproof and sweat resistant so stay tuned for that but yeah so essentially this is just kind of the foundation routine I've been wearing in the hotter months which I find to withstand the heat and last a lot longer than usual as it's a little bit heavier a little bit more makeup few products in there to help with your skin care as well so I really hope you guys appreciate it make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your sweaty Betty friend I am the sweaty friend I'm always sweating so I'll give you my tips to withstand the sweat and heat as well but before we begin it's post notification bell shout out time thank you mm -hmm. and today it goes to Sina Cooper who says notification squad love you Rach love you too thank you guys so much for all your support if you wanted to know this is actually a play suit I will leave it linked down below for you guys I really like it it's like a little tie front you know slinky number from boohoo so I've left it in the link down below I love boohoo for play suits and as well I feel like people always ask about my phone case still it is from coconut lane I always I'm gonna leave this link down below as well it is covered in porn star martinis hello so y'all know i had to cup this one they also do really other nice ones as well so i'm gonna make sure to get a few more of these but i do have a 20 percent off code it is rh20 if you are interested but without further ado let's get on with the foundation routine it is going to be a voiceover because it's more of a routine type style video and i'll give you my tips along the way i've left everything linked down below if you want to check it out as well as well as my socials would love for you guys to follow me on there as well so if you want to see me going from this to this then please keep watching So to begin, we are going to start with a fresh face, and to protect our skin from the sun, I am loving this spray from Garnier at the moment. It is their SPF 50 spray. I just spray it all over my skin. It works really nicely under makeup because it is very lightweight. So a new product for you to try. And again, this I love. This this is from Sport Effects. It's their cooling primer. I love wearing this to the gym or anything that I feel like I'm going to be really hot during, and I need my makeup to last. It really cools my skin underneath my makeup and just works really well to make my makeup last all day. So it's like a winning combination in this heat it was a toss-up between the foundations but I feel like they're both a dupe for each other I just decided to go for the more affordable one I'm applying it with a brush to start with and this is the Maybelline Superstay foundation but then I go in with my beauty blender to really press it into my skin and make sure there's nothing sat on my skin I find like this is the most effective way to make my foundation last especially when it's full coverage and as for concealer there isn't really anything you know any trick to making your concealer last or like what product works best I just tend to go for a full coverage matte finish one and this one is from Revolution it is amazing if you haven't tried it yet girl where the hell have you been uh, it's one of my favorites it's so affordable I'm pretty sure it's only like four pounds or five pounds and it's just like my favorite concealer of life so I'm just applying that underneath at my eyes this is the shade C5 I left it linked down below speaking of flawlessness this powder is insane this is the beauty bakery flower setting powder I just like to bake underneath my eyes with a precise brush and then with a big fluffy brush dust it all over my skin to really lock and set everything in place and make sure my whole face is completely matte but then you guys know the Sula is real I like to bake my upper lip before I go anywhere just to make sure that that stays in place as for brows I'm just gonna take my ABH dip brow in dark brown but this is the key product this is my Inglot Duraline. It makes anything waterproof and it just lasts a very, very long time. So I do a couple of drops in there and mix it together. This is a great product as well if your dip brow has slightly dried out and it just makes the product stay on and last forever. And then this also helps. This is the Benefit Ready Set Brow Gel. It is clear. I just like to keep everything in place. 
As for bronzer, this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. I love these skin finishes. They work incredibly well with the skin because they are a baked formula. They look super natural and blend so easily. Has a really nice kind of matte satin finish, so perfect for this weather. But speaking of matte, I'm going to be contouring with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, taking the matte contour shade just because I feel like this lasts the longest on my skin in the hot weather. Ain't nobody got time for cream contour. But I do like to add a little bit of glow back into the skin for no particular reason, but just so if I do start to sweat, this can kind of look like my natural sweat. And that was the iconic luminous powder. And matte blusher today, it is the MAC Peaches blusher just because. But you guys know, to make my highlight last and really stand out, I do like to put a cream down. I'm blending out with a beauty blender here. This is the iconic original drops. I love these, they blend so nicely onto with your skin. Even though you've applied so much powder, I just feel like they blend so nicely. A beauty blender does help to achieve that look. But to make it pop, I'm adding a powder highlighter on the top. As you can tell, I'm very excited by this. This is the Doll Beauty Duo Highlighter Palette. I just like to mix the two shades together, pop it on top of the cream. Three, two, one, get your sunnies out because you're blind. I'm obsessed with this product. And now we can move on to the setting of the skin. So that is pretty much it for the skin. I am gonna go ahead and mix two setting sprays together. Yes, two, and it's for very good reason. So the first one I'm gonna use is the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Setting Spray. I spoke about this in my recent favorites video. One sec. Ooh, so for me, this kind of acts like what kind of Fix Plus does. So you could either use this or Fix Plus, but I feel like this has kind of setting spray qualities to it. As you saw, we used a lot of matte and powdered products just because I find that they last the longest on the skin when it comes to withstanding heat and all that kind of stuff. So this just gets rid of the powdered finish on your skin, really hydrates your skin, kind of brings some life back into your skin, but also has that setting spray quality to make your makeup last as well. But last but not least, we cannot forget the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The name, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It makes your makeup last all day. It really locks everything in place. And I feel like this plus the Revolution Setting Spray is just a like popping, locking. It's not going anywhere pretty much. Plus, in this hot weather, any excuse to spray my face with some sort of spray that's gonna help my makeup, I'm on board with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. There's no sort of like longevity-ness to that. I'm just gonna be doing kind of a colorful look. I am going out this evening to an event. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I'll be back to finish off the video. So this is my makeup complete. I went for something a little more like colorful and teal. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I will have left the product details of what's on my eyes on my Instagram if you are interested. So make sure you check that out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it really interesting and maybe have been introduced to some new products to really help the longevity of your makeup and help resist this sweaty horrible weather. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell and leave me a comment in the section down below when you have done so in so you can be in chance for a shout out in next week's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. Stay to the end if you want to check out a, another video because I know you want to. Just have a little binge. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video I will see you then. Bye guys!